Hi, I'm Alicia. And I'm Aubrey. And, and this, this is Wine, Women, and, and Craft. Ba-dum, boom, boom, wine, women, and crafts. For our super special Halloween episode. Oh, God, is that today? Yes, we, this is airing on Halloween. I am so underdressed. You know, I've got something for that. Be right back. Uh-oh. What is she up to? I have a magic wand. Why don't we see if this thing works? You ready? Oh, God. And boom! I did not sign up for fur. I really didn't either. M maybe this wand doesn't work so well. Mm-hmm. We should really try this again. Wow, it worked. Uh, cool. I mean, that's better than fur, but I was kind of hoping for something a little more flattering. Well, if you're not happy with harvest, let's go all out. Oh, okay, chairs are out of the way. We're standing. We're able to have so much more fun now. I don't know about that. I think we're ready. Let's try it again. And poof. Well, that worked. They call me Cuba Pete. Got the rhythm of the Cuban beat. And I say chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. <laughs> well, this is fun, but it that doesn't very fun. really feel Halloween. That is true. We should probably go for something later in the season. Yeah, something later in the season would be good. But this time, how about you join me? Okay, that's fair. All right. Now I have to be ready. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And bam. Oh, that, that was interesting. No, 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 no. Way too far. Wrong holiday. This is not the holiday we're looking for. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, so sorry. My turn. We're going for something a little bit more dark. You took off all my hair. You made me blonde. <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> this is not okay. Dark. Dark. I've got a bad feeling about this. I was right to have a bad feeling about this. This is way too dark. I am not a skeleton girl. Give me that. We're gonna do fandoms. Okay. That worked. We are Borg. Resistance is futile. Oh, not even Ravenclaw Wit can save me from that. Let's do something a little bit more different. And move. Oh, don't you look gorgeous. Ooh, steampunk. I kind of yeah. like this. This is fun. I've got a buccaneer going on. Fun. Can do this. I'm just not sure I can craft in this. They are a bit flouncy, and I really hate to get something on this jacket. Yeah. Huh. You know what? I know what we should do. All yours. I think we should go traditional. You ready? Traditional. Yes, ma'am. What do you think? I like it. But you know we're missing something. I know what it is. Give me that. And pose. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Ooh. Went a little crazy with the purple there, didn't you? I mean, here. What do you think? Well, you're gorgeous, but now you're Halloween. <laughs> Very fun. But now that we have our makeup, it is time for the wine, wine review. review. What have we got this week, Aubrey? Well, just because it's the Halloween episode, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a Riesling from Transylvania. No, 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 we're witches, dear. It's so funny. It is, but let's pour. Okay. Swirl it around and look oh, for a swirl legs. and then sniff. Yes. I mean, not bad. I see no legs. I mean, it's, it's not going to run off now, is it? I mean, I sure mm. hope not. <laughs> this is more of a food kind of wine, something that yes. you have with like chicken or fish. Not yes. so much by itself, less of a dessert wine like the ones we've done previously. Right. So I'm going to give it about a three out of five stars. I give you the same. However, paired with the right food, this could be much better. Yes, it could. All right, so shall we get on to some crafting? Yes, we should. What are we making this week? 
Well, my craft is going to be a super fun door hanger of a uh, little witch flying across a uh, glow-in-the-dark moon. How about you? Very fun. I am making a voodoo doll out of a sock <laughs> with yarn for hair. It's going to be fun. This is definitely going to be fun. Shall we get to crafting? Let me. All right. For the voodoo doll made out of a sock, your first step is to gather the materials. Second step is to turn the sock inside out and cut the legs and then sew those legs eyes uh, closed. Third step is to turn the sock right side out and stuff with your polyester stuffing. Fourth step is to stitch the top of the sock close so that your stuffing stays inside. Fifth step is to wrap a thread around what should be the neck of your doll and you pull it tight to define the head. Sixth step is to define the arms. You are just stitching through the sock to make arms out of the stuffing. Your seventh step is to make the hair, which is wrapping the yarn and crocheting along the top and cutting it.
attach the hair to the head of your doll. To stitch on your facial features. For the voodoo doll, we are doing X's for eyes, but for any other doll, you could make whatever shape you wanted. <laughs> for our witchy Halloween plaque, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to gather our materials. I'll be using a cookie cutter for this project. You can use any size you want. We'll be making it out of Sculpey, and I'm using some clay tools that I use with my regular clay work. We'll also be using some garden stakes as guides and a roller to smooth it all out. You may also want a straw. For our second step, what we're going to do is we're going to ball up that clay and really work it together. We want to try and get out as many air bubbles as we possibly can. I think we should use a little magic on this. What do you think? I'll be using the roller to roll this out. I'm not going to immediately use my guides. I'm going to use this first to kind of get it spread out enough to be able to use my guides. So I'll roll this flat and then set them up to the thickness I want to make sure that the entire project is a routine thickness. It'll bake better this way and it'll be a better size. Now I'm going to be using my cookie cutter to make sure that I have a round shape. I'll push it in myself, but eventually I realize that if I roll it over, I can get a lot more strength in there. Now you also can use a straw to make a hole in the top if you intend to hang this. And you just put it in, twist it, pull it out, and it should be good to go. For step number three, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out the shape of our witch. You can use a form for this, or you can freehand it like I have. I'm gonna roll this out the same way, and then I hand cut it out. You can use any pattern you like. I don't have footage because I was over the project the entire time. Step number four, we're going to attach our witch to the moon. This means that we're going to gently press it in and make sure that it's actually attached to that moon so it doesn't fall off while it's on your door. using a knife to cut the grooves and the definition to the end of the broom. The nice thing about this is that you can give it a custom look. Step number five is going to be baking your Sculpey creation. Your oven needs to be at 250 degrees and you want to bake it for about 15 minutes per quarter inch that you have it in thickness. Step number six, you want to make sure that it is completely cool before you start to paint on this. If not, the paint will do weird things, it won't dry correctly, and it'll be a little bit strange. For step number seven, we're going to paint the moon. The moon, I used glow-in-the-dark paint, and because of the charge needed, I ended up having to pour it on, and it took forever to dry. It may take more than a day to dry between this and the letters, so please be patient, and you'll have that great charge at the end.
For step number eight, you're gonna go ahead and put your lettering over the top. You can use a stencil by printing out a font and going ahead and stenciling it on there, or you can do it by freehand. I tend to freehand because I did a lot of calligraphy as a kid. Here, I'm gonna be using regular black craft paint, and I will also be using a small thin tipped brush that I don't mind if it gets ruined by this because craft paint sometimes ruins brushes. You can see in the background, I've already planned approximately where I want my wording to be. And it's a really messy one, but it helps me space out where I want my wording to show up on the actual project. And up for step number nine, you're gonna go ahead and tie the ribbon, hang it on your drawer, and have a lot of fun freaking people out when the sun goes down. I'm using about three lengths of the actual project to measure the ribbon. This will let it hang about the same length and also give me room for a bow. Here I'm tying a knot at the base of my bow because that'll give me something to tie against. And then I just do a regular bow and position it so that it looks pretty. So here I'm going to be burning the ends of my ribbon to try and make sure that they don't fray. Plus, it's fun to play with fire. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this very special Halloween episode of Wine, Wine Women, Women and Crafts. Please remember to click like and subscribe for more content and antics. We'll see you next time. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween.